as we kind of wrap up, do you have any unique story or experience from a consumer or one of your team members that really, I guess, um, shows the value of, you know, this Zygo product, headset, app, whatever it is, anything that sticks out to you that will make, you know, any of the listeners think, I really want that experience, right? Yeah, I mean, I'll just, the things that came to head, that came to my mind. Um, one, there is this woman who every time she finishes an audio book will send us what the book is and what she's uh. going to read next because she's already on her seventh and it's been like, uh. you know, a few months. So that's always really fun just because she's like getting through her books faster than she ever did as she tells us because she's listening to them. Uh-huh. We have another guy who has two because he's trying to break a record at his swim club for the oh. amount of mile or amount of yards or miles that he's swimming in a year. And mm-hmm. he swims so long that he wanted two so that he could have like enough battery life to swim, like the however long mm-hmm. he swims mm-hmm. for. So that's fun and an aggressive use of <laughs> yes. the product. And then I think just more of like a heartwarming, like feeling that, you know, an unintended consequence of mm-hmm. bone conduction is that people who are hearing impaired can mm-hmm. also hear because mm-hmm. it skips your inner cochlea and you're able to yeah. hear a lot of times you use for hearing aids. And we had a dad reach out whose son is hearing impaired and he was able to mm-hmm. listen with our headset. And so again, that's just kind of one of those that like, didn't set out necessarily just for that, but it's like a, an amazing feeling to hear that and be able to provide a product that um, his son can use. Got it. As well. And you did mention that water helps to conduct the radio frequency more, but it is still like when you're standing up paddleboarding or on land, right? It still conducts the audio. Well, yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then able to hear. since you mentioned that we'll touch on how, what's the battery life like? Um, I'm sure it's, you know, more than what you, need for our average workout, but what's the battery life like for those that are wondering, you know, more endurance swimmers that are training for that? Yeah. So the transmitter will last usually like six hours. The headset, okay. depending on what you're using it for, it should be up to three hours, usually mm-hmm. between two and three hours. So like for a good workout, it's why we designed the home base to kind of be a charging docking station. So you can just easily plug it in. It. Um, and then the two things we're working on for battery life is one, we're working on a real-time battery reader. Right now you have no insight oh. into how much battery you have left. And so we're going to have in our app a battery level so you can see oh. what your charge is on the headset and on the transmitter. Oh. And then we're also coming out with an, like a power case, kind of like AirPods where it's a built-in mm-hmm. battery. So you don't have to plug it in every time. And the oh. case itself also has a chargeable battery. So those are two things we're doing to kind of enhance that experience around battery life. Got it. And you already kind of touched on some of that, but any other future direction or innovations that you guys are working on besides the battery meter, the battery life charging, you know, in just the case alone, is there anything else that you can share that, you know, you're looking forward to in the near future? Yeah. I mean, I think the biggest piece is metric tracking. There currently is an accelerometer on the, on the PCB board in the headset. It's a small chip, but the more expensive part is the software to be able to read Mm. that accelerometer. So we're working on hopefully over summer being able to come out with a unit that can, can track your metrics. So whether you do a workout in our app, it'll have, you know, your distance and your, and your labs that you swam. And we think that that metric tracking and kind of adding into your health kit will again, enhance the value proposition of what we offer and then can also start to gamify it. So it's like, you know, Hey, Andrew, you just swim the length of the English channel. Or if you're part of like a team and you can add yardage to your team's total, you know, how long you've swum. um, We think that'll be a really fun thing to be able to, to play on. And that's what gets us excited because that's more of like the community and brand building and not just the hardware piece of it. So hopefully within the next few months, we'll be in that position. That's very exciting. And like you said, now, since, you know, the hardware obstacle for right now, right, is pretty, pretty uh, in place. There's so many possibilities of how you can enhance this experience with your app and all of these metrics and tracking these things. Right. So yeah, everyone stay tuned for all of the things that you have working on that they're coming out with before we end, how can they find more information? You can explain or list all of your social media, I'll add it in the show notes as well and your website and how can they reach you? Sure. So our website is uh, shopzygo, Z-Y-G-O.com. Our Instagram is at zygogram 
Um, I'm Shira. You can always email me. It's S H E E R A at zygoco.com. Uh, very responsive. Welcome any feedback or thoughts or questions. And yeah, check us out and feel free to reach out. We love hearing, you know, user experience or if there's any, if there's any questions, happy to help. Got it. Do you have any agreements or things that you have done for like high school teams, swim teams, water polo teams, or anything like that, just as a communication aspect for the coach to communicate better to the, the players. Is that something that is pretty popular? You know, it's interesting. We thought it would be more popular, but also during COVID, a lot of teams weren't necessarily getting together or if they were, what we have found is that the sales cycle for swim teams is like someone should go in person, demo the product, mm. and then they can make a decision. But because demos weren't really happening, yeah. it kind of took a sidestep. We still think it's really valuable, but yeah. it's definitely like a longer cycle. And now we think it's actually might be better for like swimmers to experience it and then bring it to their coaches and be like, hey, mm. actually, can you use this and kind of go the upstream way of, of selling? Again, that's still a kind of a question mark. We still think it's a decent sized market and, and a useful tool. Just COVID kind of put a wrench in that sort of yeah. um, experience for now. Definitely. But there's so many opportunities in Hawaii. Maybe you'll make a trip out to Hawaii and demo it for one, I'd of, love to. one of the teams one day. So if anyone's listening, yeah, maybe we might see you soon. But no, thanks so much for all the information. Any last words, words of wisdom, things that you have for anybody to hear, not only swimmers that you would like to share? Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is just kind of what we were talking about within like, like uh, majors in college and where you land and I would just suggest that no piece of your history or experience has to inform your future or what you end up doing. I think there's a lot of things to learn along the way, but pay really close attention to what kind of work you like or what kind of people you like doing things with and, and have that be your, your North star. Cause it'll lead you in many different ways, but potentially the most rewarding because as a non swimmer, non engineer working in swim tech, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have guessed that, that I'd be here. So I think that's kind of my parting words. Yes. That's a great message. And it's, you know, I'm sure many of your consumers and future consumers, they're so glad that you guys created this product and did all of the research and development of this company, uh, Zygo. So everyone go check it out. But other than that, this is a very fun conversation. I learned a ton about not only your technology, but swimming in general. So thank you so much for coming on. And I really appreciate your time, Shira. No, thank you, Andrew. Your line of questioning was, was uh, very fun. So I appreciate it.